Peace. Welcome back to Urban Living TV. Sheree Weber here, the holistic goddess of goddessbody.com. Um, I'm here to discuss a question that I've gotten a few times, um, and that's the question if yoga is okay for Christians to do. Um, is yoga, does yoga conf conflict with Christianity? And I've heard a lot of misinformation about um, the origins of yoga um, and how it, you know, it's it's part of you know other religious systems out of India. And while there is a correlation between yoga um, and Hindu um, in Hinduism, it that doesn't mean that uh, yoga can't be practiced by other other people of other faiths. Um, I actually had this discussion with a friend um, a couple of years ago, and he's like, yeah, I heard, you know, yoga, you know, it conjures up um, demons. And I was just like, what? And I had been practicing for a few years um, um, at that point, and I'm just like, I've never practiced yoga, and I've never had a session of yoga where, you know, demons were conjured and things started to happen or, you know, my life went away. Um, if anything, yoga push demons out. Um, yoga relaxed me more, uh, made me more aware and, and into my, uh, made me more awake and aware and, and connected to God rather than push me away from God. So I just, I didn't understand where that came from. Um, but I know that it, it does come from a place of not understanding or fear. Um, one of the biggest yoga myths is that yoga started in India, and, and that's what's taught, and that's what most people believe. But yoga actually started in Africa, in Kemet, um, in Kemet, which is also better known as Egypt today. Uh, it was a Kemetic practice that was um, brought into India and then codified by Patanjali, and so um, that's that's where you get a lot of the you know the, the yoga sutras which was written by um, Patanjali um, and then you, you know you, that's where it becomes the connection between um, religions of India and, and, and yoga but uh, the truth is it didn't even start there it started in Africa um, and so I, I may still get some naysayers well even even so it still had witchcraft and it, you know I get a lot of that's, that's still you know Egypt they didn't worship they worship multiple gods and all of that um, and that's a whole nother video and a whole nother, um, a whole nother conversation. But the truth is, yoga is a practice that unifies the mind and spirit and that connects you to your creator, that connects you to God. Unlike any other exercise on earth, um, you are actually exercising your spirit as well as your body. You're, you're, it's a physical exercise that's like church, like you, you can praise and you can give thanks um, in your movements. And so I, it's it's crazy that you know yoga could only be for people who, of one religion. Yoga should be for everyone because everyone could benefit from yoga. Everyone can personalize yoga and make it for themselves. Just as prayer isn't um, isn't isn't just for one religion. Just like you know Christians aren't the only people that could pray. Um, Muslims and, and and aren't the only ones that can pray. Everyone can pray. Anybody can talk to God. Um, and anyone can use yoga. To communicate with God and receive and receives God messages, uh, so yoga should be practiced by everyone. Uh, yoga, ha there are poses in yoga that do things to you that no other exercise can do. Um, you, you can actually massage and wring out your internal organs with yoga. You work muscles that you can't work lifting weights that you can't work running on a treadmill. Um, also, it, it, it's an exercise, there are poses in yoga that increase your intuition, that um, slows down your, your mind and, and keeps your mind from racing in the, the monkey mind that we call it in yoga, where you, your thoughts are bouncing all over the place. Yoga calms that down, and so that you're able to hear God's voice. So yoga is not, it, I just, yoga is for everybody. They, I can't believe that, you know, someone would think that, like, they couldn't practice yoga because, oh, it conjures up demons and it's, it's evil and, you know, and it, it got all those gods and, and whatnot. It, it's not about that. It, it's about your connection to your creator and using yoga to do that. Um, there are uh, Christian um, yoga classes where they, they use only gospel music in the classes or, you know, or, or Christian music. Um, there are classes that don't use any of the Sanskrit terms. Um, I, I'm trained in vinyasa yoga as well as Kemetic yoga, and in Kemetic yoga we, we use Egyptian terms. We don't use um, the, the Indian terms. And, um, in, in Christian yoga, there, I'm pretty sure there, there are terms 
for the poses that, that don't involve um, the Hindu deities. Um, so yoga can be for everyone. It's about finding a place where you can practice um, that, that, that helps you and that makes you happy and that you feel that you're not, you know, teetering on the lines or, or anything. But it, it's, it's false to believe that you can't practice yoga. Um, yoga should be practiced. It's, it's an exercise that can be done in church. Um, if people could come together and, and do um, the sun salutations, that series where you're, you're doing a lot of deep back bends and hip openers and really opening up and ushering, you can let us, and usher God in. So yoga should be practiced by everyone. Um, Christians should definitely do yoga. You can heal diseases with yoga. I'm very much into the healing aspect of yoga. I love that you could you could get rid of migraines with yoga. You can um, help menopausal systems with yoga. You can help MS with yoga. You can use yoga to detoxify your liver. You can use yoga to calm down cramps. I love the healing aspects of yoga. It's it's medicine. It's you know it's body medicine. It's movement medicine, and so um, I think it, everyone should you know be able to to, to tap into that. Um, so if you have any other questions about you know yoga or, or spirituality um, or the connection of the two, please feel free to give me an email um, and I, I look forward to seeing you soon. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.